Alright guys, this is Adrian from um, Team, uh, sorry, from Yu-Gi-Oh! Rogue, giving you guys a deck profile with Mason. Uh, this is his uh, Pendulum Editions for our ST Regionals 2018, and alright, here we go. Alright, go ahead, tell us. Alright, so to start, we got uh, three Astrograph, the best card in the deck. Um, like, no nothing, this is, this is the most broken card in the whole deck, by far. Uh, to go with it, we have a uh, three chronograph. The chronograph is the same thing. It's it's basically just a free electromite if you get it in hand. Um, and then with it, we run the two that it summons, the what is it, time gazer, star gazer. These cards are like the whole engine of the deck. Everything else in the deck just kind of like helps mitigate these two to make electromite. Um, but these are just like the main things that you want to see in your hand. Uh, so that's, this is the whole like sorcerer, I guess, engine. Uh, and then in the Magicians, we have 3 Oaf. Uh, I like 3 Oaf. Uh, it's, it's the biggest Magician by default. Uh, it's got a good scale. Its scale effect is really good. Um, and it's, it's, just, it's just an all-around good card. It's really searchable and it's super, super busted. You're not afraid to brick with Oaf? Or 3 Oaf is fine because you get the... So, even if you draw 2 Oaf, um, Oaf can actually use its effect to add something from extra deck if you have another Oaf in the other spot. So two Oafs in scale, you can still add in normal. Oh, okay. So it doesn't really matter. Um, next we have three Purple Poison. This is like you're out to like any big monsters or... This is basically... This is your true Draco out, basically. Like, they make Masterpiece, you just you just summon, Astro, uh, you summon Astrograph, uh, bump it with 12 with this, that's 37. Nothing... It'll beat over anything. It'll beat over UCT, it doesn't even matter. Uh... Next we have uh, Wisdom Eye. Uh, a lot of people don't like Wisdom Eye. I don't know why. It's fucking broken. This, th this was at one for a reason. This thing is fucking OP as fuck. Uh, three harmonizing. This card sucks. I hate this card. You hate uh, harmonizing? I hate harmonizing. It's, it doesn't do anything. All it, all it does is it just fucking. It's just a, it's just a dark magi It's like a dark pendulum magician that I can allure away. And if I do pendulum summon it, summon something from deck. That's like, its only purpose. I, I never, I never make this ever. It's awful. Uh, the the MVP of the entire deck is uh, Black Fang. Black Fang is actually broken. No what? double iris. No double iris. Double iris is banned. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, double iris pro mm, probably in this. If if double iris was illegal, I would probably just completely take out harmonizing and throw double iris in. Uh, the only reason I run Harmonizing is because it's searchable with everything. Yeah. Um, Black Fang is really... It's its just another out for like a lot of stuff that would be a problem. So that's um, your main core though, right? This is all the all the pen, Pendulum Magicians. Pendulum magician I think it's like 15? Yeah, it's 15. 15 monsters. Um, so 15 is... It's not... No, it's, this deck is like 90% monsters. There's way too many monsters in, this, in the main. Um... Next, we have uh, two Curtain Razor. Curtain Razor is... It's... If you have this and any other monster in your hand, except for, like, maybe Oaf, it's a free Electromite. Just this by itself is a free Electromite. I would probably place a three. I just don't really know what I want to take out right now. And I don't really... It's one of those weird cards, because you'll, you'll see in a second. I'll explain it when I get to the other card. You don't want to see this in another card. Uh, and then we move on to the Mythical Beast engine, pretty standard. Uh, three Cerberus, two Jackal, one Basilisk. Uh, Cerberus is, searches anything, any of these. Jackal can summon anything, and Basilisk is a, it's basically an ogre, or er, an ogre. It's an, basically an upstart. It just draws a card. Uh, it doesn't really do a whole lot though. Um, but, but the Jackal, it does a, it's a monster, it's the, a Gamma on board, so it's super good. Uh, then the Supreme King engine, uh, two Dark Worm and one Gate. Uh, if I run like, if I, this is the card I was saying I, I hate to draw with the other card. So if you get this and you get like a Foolish Barrel or something, it's really dead because you can only use one or the other. You can't use both. Mm -hmm. So like I can't summon this and then Foolish Barrel the Dark Worm away and then summon Dark Worm because for Dark Worm to resolve you have to have no monsters. So drawing this and like a Foolish is like super dead. The only the only thing it is is it's it's a good follow up if they like ogre your Electromite or something or gamma your Electromite because that's that's the only thing it's useful for. Anything else is like well this is a bricky hand. Yeah. All right, that's all the monsters. Moving on to spells. Yeah, spells. Uh, three allure. Uh, pretty much everything in the deck is dark, so it's it's pretty much like a free it's a free like deck then. 
But you, so you wouldn't mind if you were to banish something, would you? No. Uh, the only thing that I would hate to banish would be like the astrographs or the chronographs. Anything else I can banish and like I don't really care about. Uh, usually, if I have a harmonizing in hand, it'll be the first thing I banish because it's like I said, it's awful. I hate it. It doesn't do anything. Um, and then we have a shrine and a foolish. Uh, these are just to get rid of the dark worm. Um, I might, maybe, depending on if I bump a dark worm to three, I might put another shrine in, but probably not. Um, and then one up start, just a 39 card deck. It. You give your opponent a thousand cards, so they need that more. Yeah. Uh, life points don't matter. Yeah. In this game, life points don't matter. And you don't play no uh, star pendulum graph or time pendulum graph? Nope. Or it's no longer why? searchable uh, regularly, because uh -huh. with with uh, Duelist Alliance, you can search the uh, the what is it, double iris. So with double iris being able to searchable with uh, Duelist Alliance, it wasn't dead if you already had one of those in hand. But if you already have one of those in hand, they're either not searchable or you have to run the um, Duelist Alliance, which only searches those two cards. Oh. So it's super dead. Right. And that's your preference, though, right? Uh, it's my preference. I just don't like um, dual slides in general. Okay. It's kind of a bad card. Uh, extra now? Yeah. Okay. So extra. Uh, we're just gonna go through in kind of just like the the levels of which we went through. So first is one vortex. Uh, vortex is broken. It's a judgment on legs. Uh, two uh, starving venom. Uh, this card's basically. Your fourth and fifth electromite, because mm -hmm. because you could just copy the effect. Well, because it literally it takes this about the same material as an electromite, except for they just have both have to be dark, which considering I run a lure isn't a problem. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it basically serves the same purpose as electromite. Uh, one omega. I'm probably gonna take this out. I don't I don't ever go into it because the only uh, tune I run is harmonizing, and you already know that I hate that card. Uh, one time star. Time star is like your go into if you have nothing better to do card. It's really bad, but I mean, no, it, it's it's one of those cards that you want to have just in case because it can search Astrograph, so it's it's not a brick ever. Uh, one Narito, uh, pretty standard. Narito is just a good card. It's a spell and trap negate. Um, it doesn't really do a whole lot else, and it's pretty easy to make. Just Chronograph, just two Chronographs really, or Chronograph O for Jackal King's actually level six as well, so you can use that. It's all pretty standard stuff. Uh, absolute same thing, just you have to run it. Uh, then Hope Harbinger. Uh, Cerberus is level 8 and so are the uh, Starving Kings. So this is super easy to make. You'll usually end on this on the board. You'll usually end with probably this and a Vortex at least. Um, unless you like bricked really hard. Yeah. So that's two negations right there. Just by itself. And it's totally like super duper easy to make. Uh, Lynx. Uh, three Electromite. I'm getting my last one today. Uh, but this, this card is... This card actually isn't as strong as everyone Everyone's like, oh, this card's so broken. It's not that good. It's it's only good because of this deck. If this deck didn't gain so much advantage on destroying its own cards, it would be trash. In fact, even in Metal Foes, the deck this the deck that this was designed for, this card is awful. In in the deck it was designed for. That's that's how you know that this card isn't good. Uh, one proxy. I'll probably change this out for a. I'll probably either keep this or maybe I'll switch out for a uh, Trigate because I this is usually what I go into at the end. Just when I have nothing else to do, or I'll go uh, electromite and electromite and absolute into this, just so it can protect the well, so it can protect itself, but also so it can protect um, like the the firewall, so I get the firewall bounce. Uh, it's pretty okay. It's not really whatever. Uh, Zephra, this card is literally the best link in the game we have right now, just based on arrows. The effect is kind of whatever, but its summon condition is super simple. If I can't make the super huge board. I'll just go Electromite and Absolute into this, mm -hmm. because then it gives a little bit of like recursion as well. Because if they pop my Electromite, like they uh, Kaiju my Electromite or something, I think it's Kaiju, right? Uh, oh no, not Kaiju. Um, if they like out my Electromite or my not my Vortex, just trying to out it, yeah. this will let me add uh, something from my extra deck or my graveyard back to my hand, so it gets a little bit of, a little bit back. Um, and then Borlo Firewall. You kind of you have to run these. They're they're like amazing. And, uh, that's, that's everything. I don't really have a side. My side pretty much is just going to be hand traps and probably, uh, probably hand traps and maybe... Do you know which hand traps you're going to play? Ash, Ogre, um, Reaper, and then I'll probably play a playset of... Uh, no, I don't like... 
Droll, Droll is one of those really weird cards where it's super good sometimes and awful sometimes. It's good against this deck, but if they out the Droll, you're super dead. Like, if they if they negate the Droll, it doesn't matter. Um, I'll probably run Sphere Modes, a Ash, Ogre, Reaper, and I'll probably run, like, maybe Leonidas. Well, that's for your side deck, though. Yeah. Leonidas is amazing. Um, it's basically you're out to Trick Stars. Like, if you ever if you ever go against Trick Stars, they activate any effect to burn you damage, and you just summon Leonidas, and you just can't die. They can't... It, they have to overextend to out it. They have to make Borlo to out it, and it doesn't even matter. Because they, they out it, and then you could just destroy their board. Anyway. Alright, guys, so now Mason is going to show you guys uh, the first five cards uh, from the top of his deck, and so you can combo with it. Alright, go ahead, Mason. Alright, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, you basically just have to get an Electromite without Normal Summoning, or Pendulum Summoning, obviously. Uh, you want to, you want to, you can Normal Summon throughout any point, um, but you just want to be able to basically just Pendulum Summon, like, three, three monsters on the board. Two Astrograph and then, like, another Dark Pendulum. Mm -hmm. It's really all you need. Uh, so let's just draw five. Alright, so here's the five. Uh, this is pretty good. Uh, it's, I can make probably three, maybe four negates with this. So first you'll Scale Curtain Razor. Um... In effect, if you have no monsters, you can just special summon from scale just immediately. So that's by itself just a, a whatever, just a, a special summon monster. Yeah. Uh, scale chronograph, then effective chronograph summons time from deck uh, on the bottom. How coincidence? Uh, then you'll then you'll not fail. You'll link into the electromite, and then on the on the summon of electromite, uh, you'll send an astrograph. Send an astrograph through what? Electromite's effect. Electromite's effect. Yeah. So Electromite sends a pendulum from deck to deck to extra deck. Okay. Um, then since I got the harmonizing and I told you this card sucks, uh, will Electromite pop? Uh, add the astrograph back. You'll chain this. So chain one is Electromite to draw one. Chain two astrograph will search. Uh, with the astrograph, you could probably search. You could search anything you destroy this turn. Um, so I'll probably search the- you can either search the Chronograph or the Harmonizing at this point. I'll probably search Chronograph, just because Chronograph is a better card. Do you prefer right now Astrograph over Chronograph or Chronograph? Astrograph is- listen, if they're gonna- if they're gonna hit this deck, they're not gonna hit Electromite, they're gonna hit Astrograph. It's the- it's the problem. It's the problem. It's the problem. Um, and then we'll draw one. Oh wow, this is a great card, I love it. <laughs> Um, so we can actually do a lot now, because we have this Wisdom Eye, and this is why this card is so good. Um, so we'll Black Fang scale, and then we'll Wisdom Eye scale, and then we'll activate Effective Wisdom Eye. And what that will do is it'll allow us to set another scale. So we'll set the Oath Dragon. And on the activation of the, of the Destruction, Chronograph can trigger, and we can summon it and the Harmonizing, right? Uh, yeah. So that's two summons. So that's already another Electromite plus another monster, which isn't difficult to do at all. So just to recur a little bit of a uh, little bit of, uh, should we do that actually? No, we'll just keep it like this. Uh, we'll link off the harmonizing and the astrograph for our second electromite. Mm -hmm. This is unfortunately going to be like a three electromite thing, so it's kind of annoying. Electromite will activate effect again. You pre you pretty much just want to send all of your uh, all of your astrographs just to the graveyard or to the extra deck because they don't matter. Okay. They're all just kind of whatever cards. Is this deck, does it go, do you, does it like going first or likes going this, second? This deck it is, it doesn't really matter if you go first or second. If they can't stop you, you you can make this board. Like, pretty much every time, you can make this board. You can, I can show you where, like, where it'll stop being, like, super consistent and where you'll end up, like, oh, maybe I'll stop here. Um, so we'll have to be Oath Dragon. We will add, actually, no, we're not going to add we're going to activate Electromite's Effect to pop Black Fang mm -hmm. to add the Astrograph again. And then on the resolution, we'll activate Astrograph again to search. What can really hurt you? What's the deck this... Your the deck, deck or the also? card? Does, the, your, like, does your deck struggle with like a Mirror Match, Trick Star, or what does it struggle This with deck doesn't match? really have any bad matchups. It kind of, the only bad matchup it has is Handtrap.deck. If you ever play against Handtrap.deck, you're just going to lose because Droll literally just stops the whole deck. Um, so you activate Wisdom Eye again, and then you pop it. And you can kind of put just whatever. Um, I'm just going to put another Black Fang just for simplicity. And you can use the Wisdom Eye effect because that's technically a new card, right? Is that why? Well, it's once per turn, but- uh -huh. or no. It isn't even once per turn. 
If they negate it, you can just activate it again. It's not even once per turn for the card. Yeah. You can just activate it as many times as you want. Way too good. Yeah, it's a little it's a little annoying, bro. Uh, so you're gonna you're gonna link for the last uh, electromite. Like I said, I'm getting my last one today. This is just an electromite. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't really matter though. Uh, then you're gonna send your final uh, astrograph. For, electro for the other Electromite. Through the last Electromite summoning? Is Electromite only once per turn? Uh, the only effect of Electromite that's once per turn is the draw effect. Okay. Everything else is a uh, whatever card. Or is, is uh, once per turn for the card. Um, then you'll activate Oath. And this time you'll add the Wisdom Eye. Uh, the Wisdom Eye will kind of just be used for setup for later. And the final Electromite, you'll pop Oath to add uh, Astrograph. Astrograph's effect on resolution. Activate and search. Mm -hmm. um, again, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll probably just search the... Probably Oath, just out of simplicity. And now we have at least three interruptions here. This is at least three. At least three? Yes. The only way that this could have been more is... Whatever, fuck you. The only way this could have been more is if I had any mythical beast in hand previous. If I had any mythical beast in hand, I would have gotten Jackal, which I then could have summoned on top of this, on top of not this astrograph, but an astrograph, mm -hmm. to get another negate. But besides that, everything else is kind of whatever. So we'll link off these two. This is an, an electron, by the way. So make firewall here. It, this is important because now this opens up three zones to to bend them summon to. So you can either activate the Wisdom Eye, or you can activate the Oath, um, and just pen summon immediately. Have you ever thought about playing Skull Druid? Is that how you pronounce Sarija? it? Sarija? Yeah. Have you ever thought um, about that? Because you open up really, really good. Sarija, it doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't do much? It's, so the, the special summon from hand, I never end with like two or three cards in my hand. I end with maybe one in my hand. Maybe. I usually don't end with a hand. Oh, okay. So this is all like, just... Is basically just make a board that looks similar to this. So like I said, you just need to have... You basically just need to end on this board. You can end, end on this board, pretty much. So it's lethal. Like, more than lethal. Well, this is more than lethal if you're going second. But I, I was, I'm was i going playing for going first. Oh, okay. So then, you'll... You see it over these two? Absolute? Yeah, absolute. <laughs> um, this card is just amazing. Um, and then you'll link off these two. Or... No. You'll make proxy. Um, you might think, well that's kind of a waste, because it's a link 2 and a 1, so that's a link 3. Mm -hmm. You could make Trigate here, but you're not gonna co-link it three times, so it's not gonna do anything. Um, you can also make Ib here. Ib would probably be a better choice, and I'm probably gonna put it in. Um, cause th this is a, a Water Dragon and a Fire Psychic. So, this, this could also just be an Ib, which would actually probably be better. So instead of this being a proxy, you can make it. Um, and then the activate activate effect of Absolute summons Vortex, and you want to summon it here. The reason you summon it here is because you're not going to summon anything else from the extra deck that's going to be important. Mm -hmm. This is like the least important spot after your combo. Okay. So now you'll link these two, or you'll you won't link these two. You'll uh, contact fuse for starting them. Uh, the location doesn't really matter. Just make a start. Mm -hmm. With Starving Venom, you'll activate effect and copy Electrobite, which will allow you to pop a card and then add a card. So in this case, you'll activate effect, pop Black Fang, and you'll add Astrograph. And then you're adding Astrograph through the Black Fang. Through the no, through Starving Venom, which copied Electrobite, oh, okay. which is pop a pop a monster, pop a face up card on your field, mm -hmm. add one from Astrodeck back to hand. So the oh. Astrograph. But now you'll, doesn't Black Fang's effect go off? It does, but this is the this is the chain part. Oh, so okay. chain one, summon Astrograph to search whatever you want to search. Probably another Black Fang. Chain two, Black Fang. Targets Astrograph to summon from Grave. Which is why you wanted to make this beforehand, because the Black Fang will give you another uh Supreme King. Oh, okay. Makes sense. So then Astrograph resolves and you can search. Uh, doesn't really matter what you search again. Uh, I'll just search Black Fang just for simplicity. And you're not, uh, you're not afraid to get hit with the uh, Ghost Ogre, are you? Yeah, no. Uh, ogre, if... So... So if you get... If you summon your Electromite and you activate Effect to send to Grave, or yeah. from Deck to Extract, and they Ogre that, 
your combo basically can't end on more than one negate. So you could just keep going, right? Yeah, if you don't, if they have no disruption to stop you, this is a no disruption. Mode. So like, they have no disruption, you basically just win. Um, so for this one, you will... We'll actually activate Black Fang again, and you'll make another stun with these two. And then with Starving Venom again, you'll copy Electromite one more time. And you'll use Effect, pop Black Fang, and you'll actually add not Astrograph. You'll actually add pretty much anything else you want. For the purposes of this though, I'll add Harmonizing, because it's actually not too bad. Um, Black Fang of Stuff will resolve, and you'll add and it's, and it's something after you have The reason why you don't want to add Astrograph is because then you have a dead card in your hand, whereas like these, they're scales, you can actually use these. The Astrograph, you don't want to have it in the scale unless you're using the effect to summon, because it doesn't do anything else besides that. And the cool thing about this is you haven't used a normal summon, have you? I haven't used my normal, and that's where the, the fourth negate would come in. Yeah. If I had a fourth negate, I could... So like, let's, let's just say, instead of this uh, harmonizing or whatever, I had, uh, not this, if I had uh, Jackal King, mm -hmm. I would then tribute over my Astrograph and summon this, and it would be an, a monster negate for free. But I didn't open any, any Mythical Beasts, so it doesn't really matter. But this is still two negates and then a bounce. And that, this is your combo? This is m mostly the combo. Oh, guys. Keep so this is a Hope Harbinger. <laughs> Hope Harbinger is a once per turn spell in the gate. Oh, okay. Um, then you can keep the Wizard Mind Hand for follow up, mm -hmm. or you can just scale the Harmonizing. The Harmonizing, what it does, it adds, it gives everybody a buff, so it makes everybody stronger. So in this instance, it makes everybody one, two, three, four, five hundred attacks stronger. So it's near impossible to beat over 35 defense with a bounce and two negates on board. And that a lot of decks can get over that. I mean, a lot of decks could get over this. Uh -huh. Basically, if you just have two board wipes, you get over it. Um, but then that's that's two cards out of your six card hand that you already can't use. Mm -hmm. So it's it you would really brick really hard if that was the case. Oh okay. Um, this is your negating field, is it? Like I said, I have one more, but it doesn't really matter. You basically already got the board. Yeah, this is basically the board. We would make one more negate, but it's about the same. Okay, so if I was, for example, we were doing a mirror match and I was to activate Wavering Eyes. Yeah. How would you respond? I would negate it with Hope Arbinger. Okay. And then if it was like, if you're, okay, so you're going to negate that? Chain Ash Blossom or Ghost you Ogre. Can't, okay, even if you chain the Ogre, uh -huh. it still resolves because it's still on the board. You're not afraid so, of a Gamma or anything, are you? I mean, Gamma does kill this, but you would Gamma first turn. You would oh. Gamma the Electromite immediately. I would I think... It was still weird how you didn't activate for Vortex. What do you mean? Well, okay, because I was like Wavering Eyes and you didn't do Vortex. Why didn't you do Vortex? Vortex is, is basically a judgment. It can negate... It can... Well, not a judgment. It's basically like a... Mm -hmm. It can negate anything besides summons. And Hope Harbinger can only negate spells. Oh, okay. So if they activate a spell that you really don't want to resolve, like let's say they activate desires or something, and they don't, and they do that first, that's usually a sign of a bad hand. So you're going to want to harbinger that because it, they're going to have to pay the banish ten for cost, so it's going to mill out a bunch of combo pieces that they have, and you're still going to, and you're still going to have them not be able to use it, and it's also going to rip a card out of their hand because obviously they used the one card to do it, so they minus one for the the desires. Also on that note, desires not a minus nine. That's why you don't run part of desires. No, it's. I don't run desires because everything in the deck is searchable, uh -huh. or doesn't want to, or I want to, I want to see in my hand. Oh, okay. So there's no reason to draw, to run any of that. Like, if I were to ban, like, if I were to just to banish like two of these, it kills like four other cards in the deck. If I banish both of my uh, foolish and my dragon shrine, it kills all of my dark worms. No, no, yeah, it makes sense because they're dragons though. If I banish any astrograph, I can't do the combo. Yeah. Oh. All right. And this is this is it though, right? And it's ready for SC regionals. Uh, like I said, I need to get that one more electromite, but I'm picking that up like. I'm gonna look at my wrist. I don't wear a watch. <laughs> uh, I'm picking it up probably in like an hour or two. Uh -huh. um, and then I need to get an, a playset of ogres because 
Ogre is really strong right now. And it's I, cheap. People, because it's not even that it's cheap, because the, the, the rarity doesn't matter. I'll probably just get ulti, because I don't care. Yeah. But... <laughs> the Ogre is really strong right now, because it stops. It literally, like, summon Electromite. If they don't have a follow-up to the Electromite, yeah. and they need this to resolve, Ogreing the Electromite stops them completely. The only, the only way that they would have, like, a follow-up to that is they have to brick really hard and still have a Chronograph in hand, and then summon two monsters off that. Then they have one card in their hand to use Electromite. Yeah. Which does nothing. <sighs> Sorry, am I boring you? No, no, no. No, that's not good. Are you, um... What's the word? Um... And you're... What place do you think you're gonna make it up to regionals? So, I'm gonna get there really early, so I'm probably gonna be tired all day. Because uh, I have to go drop off some judges. Don't cash. don't ask why. Don't ask? Yeah. M cash, gas money is quite a quite a generous thing. No, yeah. Anyway. From um, what place do you think you're going to make it? I could there? probably get top 32 if I really, really try and play it smart. I probably won't because I'm a bad player, but... Rip. Yeah, rip, 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 my, uh, rip my record. Uh, I could probably get top 32 if I really tried hard. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, I guess we'll just see you there then. Yep. All right, well, this is Adrian from um, Yugi Rogue interviewing uh, Mason's deck profile. So comment, like, and subscribe, and subscribe for more content. All right, later, guys.